guys. This is her status this everything. As you can see, I bought everything off the Amazon list. But I, everything that wasn't food off the Walmart list. Oh, and by everything, I mean, like, every when it comes to the Amazon list, everything that, like, wouldn't go bad. Like, so, all that's left is, like, so I think one list has some disposable wipes that are, like, biodegradable, and those will dry out even in the container. So, I was not going to buy those until I need them. And then there's another thing. It's, like, uh... A thing of plaster for the home improvement list. Um, and then another thing is like you can make a mold of your hands. Um, that's like a couple things. So obviously that's not until uh, I have a life partner. Uh, anyways, but here we are. The entire living room is pretty much gotten pretty full at this point. My brother keeps complaining about it for some reason. But I keep explaining to him this is because there's multiple rooms of stuff in one room. And in my room, I forgot about the plate. There is. Let me just take care of this plate before I forget to. In my room, there is, oh, uh, still stacks of the kitchen stuff. There is, in the closet, and there's papers, apparently, and a couple of magazines. I did not realize there was more than one magazine. Interesting. And that's stuff to go through later when the moving process is actually happening. Um, I finally have an extra old DVD drive, so that's good. I don't have to worry about borrowing my dad's anymore. Um, if you're wondering why the bed doesn't have a sheet on it, it's because I think a few months now, probably a month, two to four months, I don't remember how long ago it was. Raven, I think, like peed on it or something. Peed on the sheet. What the? What a tough to play sack. They were fighting on the bed. Anyways, so two to four months ago, I really think it peed on the bed or something. I don't remember. I had to wash the sheet. It something related to her doing. Give me. Not that simple, by the way. I gotta show my brothers. Oh, jeez. I tripped over that. I found a tough to play sack fur on my bed. Okay. Uh, Raven's like, I'll eat it. Be scratch. Are you filming? Goodbye. I also have to do small little laundries that way. I have some. I have a solid black shirt for tomorrow. So tomorrow marks basically my first day at the new job. Very excited. I'm no longer in the warehouse. Did you just hiccup? Also, great news, guys! I finally got a new phone. I'm hoping that means I will. No longer have to worry about um, any sort of crashing situations. I'm still trying to keep it under half an hour just in case. Uh, so this doesn't take a micro SD card, so I'm hoping it will be a little bit more cooperative. Um, I think I pretty much have, unless the S23 already released, I pretty much have the newest model on the market right now, which is shocking because. I think that thing was like a thousand dollars for it came out or something like that. Um, it was like, got it on sale, I think, if I'm bearing correctly. It's like 857 I was like, yeah, I just accepted the fact that, um, phones nowadays are just going to be expensive, so. I had 
So I have to splurge a little bit on that because I know the um, other phone is still kicking and it's like six years old. Oh, there's a, there's a doorbell. I'm just going to awkwardly move away from the door. I think they thought I was filming them. Oops. Anyways, as I was saying before that awkwardly happening, um, I'm frozen. Like basically, I was saying, I just sent it to find a new phone that's gonna be expensive, and so they decided to merge. Yeah, that's basically what I was saying. Um, but yeah. So. There's like, I also there's like first aid kits. As yeah, one for the car, the smallest one I'll go for like, um, going in the woods to shit. And then uh, there's like one that says it's trauma specific or something that I don't know if it's for head wounds or whatever that would be living in the car but can be moved to on the go when needed. I think that's this that's this, this is an earthquake kick from when I'm on the west coast. Oh. Uh, The bigger one. This is a big one, I think. That's for the house slash apartment. Depending on how things go, financially speaking, will determine if we're able to rent a house or an apartment. Alright, relations to the door. Lost you! My brother sneezed. What? You pet me? You pet me? I, I'm so happy I finally have a laundry sorter so that in the new place when that happens, which there will be, there's a whole playlist dedicated, I already created a while ago, that will be putting those videos in when that comes, but basically um, instead of having to worry about reading the tag every time I'm just gonna like put the things that don't go in the dryer in their own little baskets so that way I have a load of only things that don't go in the dryer so that way things don't actually go in the dryer they're not supposed to which is how I think at least one of my leggings lost that elasticity a little bit because I put those in the dryer when they weren't supposed to oh and my dad did this very disappointed about it it's kind of it's part of his organization process or whatever oh and uh what am i wondering what this is since you might have seen it when i put the plate in the dishwasher that is a very weird tasting beer but i poured it out into a glass because i was paranoid that a sandfly landed in the can thankfully it did not so that's dvd if that gets poured out or not like down the drain or not. Um, yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, now I was doing we're doing some driving recently. And I think I'm I think it's gonna take another month. So I should hopefully be able to take my second driving just soon ish. Very happy about that. The sooner I get my license, the sooner I can have my own car, and the sooner I'll have some more freedom. As obviously, when worse gets worse, that could also serve as a mobile home. There's, I don't know how we're gonna litter all the way up here, which you fly through the air. Oh, yeah, and um. These finally came in, so then I don't have to worry about like sweaters getting hooked on like bra hooks or anything like that. They get their own cases. It's also very containers for anything other old gear that's delicate. Like some of the more delicate sweaters probably end up in those. Like the one sweater that I can't wear in a house with cats because at least one string got unthreaded when Blaze was doing happy paws. I was so upset and I'm like, okay, that's the way. Until further notice. The Keurig 
still there ever since you spilled chowder in the box. Don't remember if I addressed that in the video or not, but yeah, my dad's by my. That's why I get pissed about my brother eating the living room, but my dad, of course, behind the dining table, so he can't eat the dining table right now, so he has this tiny little space to eat. Which is also the only walking path in the because I actually blocked that path. Oh, and I have a metal detector now? That was like. 940 something dollars, if I'm right correctly. Um, looking at it, looking at that is like an investment piece, so that'll probably la last a few years. Oh, I remember what I was saying about the phone door. Okay, so the old one lasted about. Oh, it, it's like six years old, it's still kicking, so that's how I was like, I could justify the expensive price tag on the new phone. Because, uh, it's gonna last so, uh, several years before I need to replace it. So, it, um, also an investment. Yeah, I remember that now. I was able to put it stuff. So it's not. Oh, and I got these little adapter things because most of my cords are micro USB, and then the new phone takes a C cord. So, Raven just got the absolute daylight scared out of her by a motorcycle. But that didn't sound like a real motorcycle. I think that was a sports bike. Yes. My dad calls those cross rockets, and I really find that name disturbing. I'm not gonna lie. It just it gives itself to like a very disturbing visual, and I'm just like, ugh. Anyways. I probably should figure out how to consolidate and put some of these things in mints, but the problem is, the majority of these black mints are actually full. I think I filled them up with all the, any of the ones that were partially empty from some of the January stuff. So, that's, that's a problem. Um, I also filled the, that suitcase with more clothing. Yeah. So, I'm pretty much, when it comes to any of the clothes I'm wearing, I pretty much have the shorts and a handful of t-shirts right now. But I got more t-shirts. I don't know if I'm going to wear it yet because I'm afraid of, like, something happening when I hang it in this house, alright? Um, there's, like, the last time I tried to hang things in the basement, I remember it was a white button-down shirt many moons ago, and got a bunch of holes in the back of it, and I don't know if someone spilled something on it, or if, like, creatures happened, but I remember that being a thing, and I was like, I don't know. But since then, I just don't, I just avoid hanging things up in the basement. I, um, obviously, other than the mask, the masks have survived somehow, not getting destroyed. Uh, yeah. That's for, like, uh, life updates. Um, uh, pretty much, I think the so far, we're looking at probably within a year ish. The movie situation should be sorted. Oh, uh, cause it, it'll. Um, so, how the current place I'm working at works is you have to start per, part time unless you have two years of full time experience. So you have to start part time for six months to a year. And I basically, um, and that's basically only if they like your work ethic. So I have to really work my butt off to get to, so that way I can get that um promotion. And so then once I be up full time, that will at least make it so I'm making enough. I have to, have to worry about my roommate right now because um she recently left her. No, I think it's like. Either recently left or is about to leave very soon. Whenever that school year ends. Because she works in one of the districts right now. Um, of the... I think she said she was an orchestra assistant or something like that. Helped organize the instruments, basically. But, um, in short, she was being very disrespected at her old job. So she left... She's so she's leaving that place at the end of the school year. So 
then with um she mentioned due to some personal things that she wants to then um be part time instead of full time now. But the good thing is she has at least um a year of full time experience now. Maybe even more than that. So that's good. So it'll make it definitely easier than when she if she doesn't choose a job that allows her to switch from part time to full time. It'll make it easier for her to get a full time job. When for the movie stuff, um I was told by um a friend of mine who already had moved out um that he said that theoretically yes you can have it so that one person's working full time but it might get a little stressful so ideally we'll both be full time by the time the movie happens but time will tell um, it's all determined on income and need grants, give me things. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to move, um, after I graduate, or even right before I graduate from college. That would be ideal, I'm telling you. They basically, um, since my senior year, it's going to be pretty light, thankfully, which is why I took so such heavy class loads during my other semester, so that way this would work out this way. I'll be able to do half online, half in person for this coming up semester that's starting, um, that'll be in August when I'll be able to commence that, and then, um... The final semester, I'll be able to, um, to hopefully everything goes well. Only show up once in once a week, if I'm remembering correctly, in person for one class, and the other three are online. Is and uh, that's the senior seminar. And that can only be taken your final semester. And so, from what I've heard, that means once a week. And I'll be very happy if that's the case. Even if it is an evening position. Um, I, so that might... It might interfere slightly, but I don't think if it's only once a week, it'll be too much of a problem. Uh, yeah, my, my position um, that I'm working at... at that I will be working at starting tomorrow is an overnight position, so that's what I'm saying. The evening class might interfere, but it's only from oh yeah, it's from six to like nine, almost nine. So from what I looked at, it's six p.m. to eight forty-five. So that would impact slightly, but if it's only once a week, that should not be a problem at all. But Basically, I'll cross that bridge um, once November comes along and I'm able to make my final semester schedule. Lost my train of thought again. So then, um, I'll be able to tell me if that'll actually be once a week or not. I got an email saying I can theoretically, supposedly do get override to have that in the fall but I've heard there's more um, sections available in spring so I've been advised to just wait until the spring so that's what I plan to do because I've also already solidified my this coming out semester schedule anyway so I don't want to mess with that too much Yeah, I just, I, there's been a lot going on, honestly, uh, so that's why you haven't heard from me in a while, and I really am hoping, I really, really am hoping to be able to move out soon, and honestly, this place is just, 
It's been taking a toll. It's been things have been getting too chaotic <coughs> for my life. Apparently, I'm also choking on air, which is great. Like choking out air. <clears throat> Anyways, um, yeah. So in short, that's what's going on. Uh, not much really to update as well as why I haven't. Not the reason why I haven't really made a video in a while. Nothing really much going on. And I keep spacing out while talking, which is great. Oh my. God. I pretty much, I'm also very, just don't have energy to make videos at the moment as well. So as you can hear, I'm probably speaking a little bit, so yeah. yeah. So basically that's that, I don't know. I'm hoping the next video will have more eventful stuff, perhaps even moving stuff in the next video, I don't know. It all depends on how these few months go, including the next semester. I'm checking back in in July with a friend of mine, the same friend that told me that the part-time could theoretically work for the roommate and me being full-time. Um, I've also... Oh yeah, the reason why I had to check back in is because you know, he's been really being very distant lately, and his boyfriend kind of like flew off the handle recently online, so that was great. So my friend really has just—he's just really closed himself off ever since that happened. So that's been a little bit anxiety-inducing, to say the least. And then also my, it's like just been a compile of everything. Like one friend kind of he dropped off the face turf, but I think that's because he's he's he's, he, um, he's going to school to be occupational therapist. So I think that's because he, he's inevitably has to take med classes. So that's probably why he dropped off the face turf. I'm hoping that's the reason why, and not just oh, the times they are a change. Bye. I'm hoping that's not. But I'm fully prepared, like pretty much everybody leaves in the end anyway, so I'm like, um oh, I'm 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 used to it at this point. But uh, you know. Um, yeah, so basically Yeah, to summarize things out, I'm hoping to get my license within the month and within the month by July mm, nah, before August. Yeah, I'm hoping that'll work. Before August, I'm opening my license, which hopefully will allow me to get a new car, but or not a new car, but my own car. And then if I get my own car, I'll have a lot more freedom. And I'm hoping that both me and my roommate will be able to make enough money. Then I can move out, move out of this place finally. We can both have our own life. And uh, finally, a lot of stress will be lifted off my shoulders once moving processes are able to happen. I'm honestly just stuck in a waiting period right now, and it's really uh, stressful and uh, anxiety inducing. So, that's fun. Also, side note that stack is falling, it is actively slowly falling. We'll have to fix that. I will definitely have to fix that again. I know, uh, one book fell off the stack next to it that has the purple washboard on it. That one right there. Um, yeah, that was, uh, almost a disaster. Thankfully, it was only one item, but it's somewhere off in the abyss. I'll have to fetch that when I'm moving things around later. Um, so we'll see how 
we'll see when later is um and also i'm hoping it didn't get damaged because it's a scrapbook so it's a little delicate because it's wound a little differently because it's it's meant to like move a little easier when you're riding i think it might even be a spiral one i don't remember off the top of my head honestly yeah so i'm also excited um i'm also excited about being able to use these they're essential illness Smells more like lavender than vanilla, uh, which is interesting. So, but there's two of them, so that'll be one for each bathroom. Basically, the video of that. Who's? Is that some beeping for you or something? Hmm? That's some beeping for you? No. I heard a horn, and you arrived. Very, very suspicious. Rude. That doesn't mean chocolate custard. It's a little lumpy, but that's life. Life is lumpy. Yeah. The computer's just been vibing out overnight without the charger. I'll hopefully we're able to take down my room tonight. It surprisingly got some juice in it. Uh, well, I guess that's all there is to say. I don't even know. Don't even know.